Well, Master busting some rhymes, sort of nervous style. You've seen that from some players. They get nervous. They start, you know, you know, busting a few bars. And here's the opening kickoff of the Madden 18 Challenge live from Los Angeles. And let's rock. The Madden Challenge of 2018 is ready to rock. That purple belt is up for stakes, up for grabs. Let's get it popping. And we sort of feel like the prelude to Monday Night Football. You got Falcons and Buccaneers tonight, but nobody's thinking about that as Beast Mode goes ahead and works his way forward for seven. And here's Matt hurrying up offense, and early on, this is that single back tight slot formation we're talking about. Goes right back to Marshawn Lynch, trucks his way to the 37. Yeah, that tight slot formation is a lot to deal with. You see, you got all your receivers in tight here. Nobody's out outside. Compressed set. And oh, wow. Just like we talked <laughs> about. Joel, you want to stop that run, shoot some gap, get in the backfield, make it happen. That was a great example of that from the young man from D.C. right there. So a loss of three. Here comes second down for Master. Has time. And Big Ben will scramble, try to get back to the original line of scrimmage but just picks up a yard. It's going to be third and 12. And this isn't where Matt wants to be, but Joe also mentioned to me at dinner, he needs to watch out for the run in this situation. Matt's not scared to run on third and long. He will go to the run. Lynch oh, shakes no. a defender and leaning towards the line to gain, and he's going to be just short. It's fourth and inches already, RJ. And it's a big down early, Coltrane. Momentum play. He'll go to the air, quick throw, and he will hold on at the 37-yard line. And just like that, he's in plus territory. Oh, that takes some kahunas on fourth and inches to get out there and slang the rock. That's one of the best times to throw the ball. When they're thinking run, that really opens up the pass, and Matt took advantage of it right there. Risky, but when it works, no big deal. Got a big gain out of it and a first down. So he moves the chains. Fresh set of downs from the 37. Throws it into coverage, and it's caught down at the seven-yard line. Woods brings it in. It's a nice, re nice read right here by Matt. You see Joel, he's lurking, takes the B route. Matt goes to the second level. Good read. So now he's in the red zone. First and goal from the seven-yard line here on the opening drive of the Madden Challenge. Goes to Marshawn and maybe gained an inch. And this dive out of the single back tight slots is tough. We saw Stiffmeister make a run with this being a key part of his offense. Back in Madden 16, ended up winning the belt. He's going to run with uh -oh. Big Ben. That's a fumble, man. Come on, man. Joel come begging on, man. for the ball to come loose, but it'll be a third and goal at the four. Yeah, and for those that aren't super familiar with competitive Matt, and when you get hits on the quarterback like that, he's vulnerable to fumble in that ball. Matt getting a little careless right there, but fortunate that he didn't fumble it. No tight ends, but he does have Dan Diodorf, the legend over there at left tackle, and beast mode to walk in, and that's your first that's so score bad. of the challenge. <laughs> And good job by Matt. We saw him get into the third and long, and everyone says he's willing to run the ball on third and long, does what he does, gets himself in the fourth and inches, big gain, keeps it together. Good drive right there by Matster. Welcome to the big stage, buddy. Ten plays, 79 yards, and he took up nearly half the first quarter. And now Joel will have an opportunity to respond. Gurley spins his way to the 19-yard line. And we're talking, here's the touchdown. You see Marshawn Lynch reads the defense, good stick work, so bad, and for man. six. And we're talking so a lot about Masters' run game. Statistically, Joel has the number one run game out of all the competitors in this tournament. He has Todd Gurley and Jay Ajayi as two-headed monster. He's going to look to run the ball as well. Gurley got blown up at the 26-yard line. That's a quick gain of seven. Trailing by a touchdown. Back to Gurley. The former oh, pulls no. out. Fumbled. Give me my You're ball. Complaining? <laughs> but he was You're able. Give me my ball. They're complaining about that. 
to recover his own fumble. Look at it again, RG. I like this angle because you see the corner come right off the line of scrimmage like a savage. Matched are ready for the stretch right there. Joel in an awkward third and five. Ajaye is in for Gurley here on third and five. Marino. Oh, Danny Boy hits New Hopkins out at the 43-yard line. Nice pocket right there by Joel. Just throws the old-fashioned slant route. Shows that he can pass out of this single back wide trips formation he likes to run out of. He just really likes to stretch to that side. That's, that's his bread and butter out of this formation. He'll go to it once again and get tripped up. That was Bosa able to contain the edge. And Matchster Gamer, he's a Madden nerd. He is a lab rat. He was up all night. I was talking to him. He knows exactly what Joel wants to do out of this playbook. And he says he, he's going to be ready for that stretch. So far, not so bad. Brings digs in motion here on second and 11. And he'll stretch it back that way again and goes absolutely nowhere. That corner from the outside is just firing into the backfield. Blowing up that stretch. Now Joel in a passing situation here. Not where he wants to be. And TJ McDonald coming down into the box to make the stop. So third and 11 from the 42. 25 seconds remaining in the quarter. Opening game of the Madden Challenge here on a Monday. Doesn't have time to get yeah. rid of it. And that's a huge sack. And fourth and 22, what do you do, RG? I think if you're Joel, you're going to have to get the boot out. You're, you're, a, you're a run type player. You don't have a pass heavy type offense. You take a big sack like this, you're going to have to punt. Kevin Baird was the guy that came screaming in off that edge. And here we go. You got a possession now. You're up a possession with the lead to start quarter number two. And if you're master, you're right where you want to be. Oh, absolutely. Open up the game with a touchdown, get a stop. This is going to be a statement drive for him right here where he, he can either continue to have all the momentum or he can give it right back to Joel. Big drive right here. Looks like he wants to pass on first down. Going to go the air. Scrambles with Big Ben. Going to lose a yard. Khalil Mack will get credit for the sack. And players will do that sometimes. Once you've scored and you get the stop, you feel like you're playing with house money a little bit. So he doesn't go to the run. He goes for a shot play. Sees if he can get some momentum. A little high pass, but able to be pulled in. Roethlisberger already three for three here early in the game. 64 passing yards. And I like this strategy by Matt. This is the time to mix it up. Throw the ball a little bit. Keep your opponent off guard. Good time to try these things out, in my opinion. Back under center once again. Ball at the 45, just shy of the Madden Challenge logo. Goes to beast mode, but Clowney does a nice job shutting down the inside run. Joel clicked on to Clowney right there. Made a nice little user tackle. I love seeing these guys click on. They, they don't let the AI guys do much. They want to do it themselves, switch to the player, user control them, get it done with the stick work. Right what down the seam. That and now he's in business at the 25-yard line. A big grab from Zach Ertz. And look how methodical Master Gamer looks. Joel on the second level trying to take the crossing mount. Matt with a, a seam right behind it, makes the right read, gets in the field goal range. Master Gamer looking impressive right now. We'll pitch it to the outside. Oh More pitch. Gosh. And pitch. In pitch we trust. You are awful. You are awful. Like I said, you should have no points right now. This is literally mind blowing to me. Who do I need to break? Oh my! I, I I don't know what's going on right now. Like this is bad. Well, I know I'm bad at oh math, God, but I can man, tell you, you awful, he has man. more than zero points. He has 14 now. 14 to nothing. I love Joel, but I hate to see this. He's calling Matt awful. I mean, Matt walked down the field. I mean, he had a good drive on his first possession of the game. He stopped you. You wanted to run a bunch of stretch. He had the cornerback shooting off the gap. Made you punt the rock. And he trucked you. I mean, you shot the gap. He made a play. 
He, he's not awful or he wouldn't be here. You're going to psych yourself out with that attitude, Joel. It's not a championship attitude. I think he's going to need to clean that up. That's that chemistry master beast mode. You got to put some work in on some solos uh, to get that item, but he is absolutely hard to bring down. And that's what Lynch does. He's going to truck you. He's not going to, he's not a juke type back. He's not, you know, going to outrun you. It's the benefit of having him. Ajaye cuts it back upfield. So after Gurley fumbled the rock early, it's Ajaye that's getting most of the carries now for Joel. Yeah, he's going back and forth. I think he just put Gurley right back in there. And that's the benefit, though, of having that two-headed monster. You can keep them fresh. Both of them are beast. And Gurley is going to truck his way to the first down. Let's see what's going on in game number two. Scott, I'm over here watching Spoto and Prodigy. Spoto got a big stop on a fourth and one, turned it into three points. Prodigy's back with the ball. Keep you updated. Game over there on the other oh. side between those two oh, guys coming. who... Maybe don't have a name yet, but they're going to have one. Young Spoto, 16 years old, a junior in high school, already made himself 10,000 bucks. Playing on the big stage, he's going to be popular when he goes back to school. Took me a while in life to hit that five-figure number. It wasn't at 16, I can tell you that. Second and 10, checks it down in a nice gain to make it third and manageable from the 29. He's in field goal range, but I can guarantee seven's on his mind. And credit to Joel. He was freaking out. He's telling Matt he's terrible. He looks like he was going to lose his composure. But so far, he's regathered himself, and he's putting together a fantastic drive right now. Good job getting rid of it as Bosa once again was coming free. I tell you, you have a Jadavion and you have Joey Bosa, and if you have some extra blitzing coming, that's a tough combo to hold out there. You don't have a lot of time in the pocket. The thing is, though, these guys all have fantastic teams, Coltrane. Yeah. Nobody in the tournament uh, was upset about the team that they drafted. They all feel they're well-rounded. They got the pieces they need. You got a balanced matchup, but yes, you're right. Uh, you know, having goons like Clowney and Bosa and Co. That's it's a lot to deal with. Big play here. Fourth and inches just goes right up the gut, gets the first down and more as Gurley carries him to the 16-yard line. He's going to go a little hurry up here. Yeah, and you, with these guys that like to run the ball a lot, you got to watch that quick hike. They're not going to give you much time to set up at the line of scrimmage. You see it's that, It's a right? great block. Come on, man. One stop, bro. Yeah. Come and on, man. Gurley really works stop. his way into the end zone. I worked twice for a stop. It honestly should be 21-0. This game should honestly be over already, man. Come on, man. Give me my one stop that I earned. Come on, man. Yeah, exactly. He's no, going to throw on, you man. something. It's master gamer. He's gonna throw you some. Well, this is come on, man. One of the things we love about Madden is the and you're you're Button sitting literally next to each other, across from each other. You know, you get get a chance to get a little capping on. Hey, trash talk is a staple in Madden. Let's oh, go. Come on, man. the ball is on the ground I and it's recovered that. by Joel. I deserve that, man. You should have zero points. You're lucky you gave me 14. That's your early Christmas present. The 14 is an early Christmas present. You got lucky. Well, RG and I are going to head out for a slab of ribs and let these guys carry the commentary the rest of the way. Hey, Joel's a passionate fella out there. He reminds me of Sherm Sticky. He'll just say anything just to get under your skin. Come and on, Gurley, Come on! We got a tie Come game on, pinning man. the extra point One stop here in Los over. Angeles. And One stop and it's over, bro. Stop making me work so hard. Joel on, looking boys. like one of these guys. You know, some people talk and they throw themselves out of their game plan. Joel seems like he's leveling up as he's talking trash. It's, things are working out for him. He's saying, I Come need to stop. Man. I need something to happen. He's getting everything he asked for. Well, the score is even. Come on. Come and now on. you would say, as far as competitive Come go, it's on, even man. now. Both players have Come had on, man. long runs. We've seen some fumbles. Come on, man. And now it's sort of like we're starting the game over again at 14 apiece. One stop, and Let's man. see One how stop. Matt responds One to this stop. adversity. One Use a complete control. You got to be feeling Matt. good for yourself. Stick to running the ball, Matt. Fumble Stick on the kickoff. Stick to running the ball, Matt. Not going to be happy. Joel's letting him hear about it. Take a look at the rushing stats there. Joel with 74 yards and two touchdowns, 47. Stick to running the ball, Matt. And two scores for Master doing it on the ground here in game number one of the Madden Challenge. That's fine. Come on, boys. Come on, you man. You don't have forever. Come on, man. And he'll Come take on. a sack. That's what Second and 18. Look at the fire that young man Joel was playing with, huh? He's letting him have it, but that's it. He's a passionate guy. He's playing with a lot of emotion. Looks like he's leaving it all out there. 
If you're just joining us, Scott Cole along with RG, and it was a 14-0 game. Master had the lead, and Joel has come roaring back here to tie it up with 117 left in the half, ball at the 40-yard line. Has time, and he'll just throw it away. Let's take a game break with my man Zach. Scott with a minute and less to go. Prodigy on a third and two, takes it in with LaShawn McCoy. He's got a 7-3 lead over Spoto. So we got a good one here, we got a good one over there. We're checking in with Zach Farley throughout the day and throughout the week. This is just the first day. We're just on a Monday here, we got a long way to go. Second and 10. And Ertz will step out of bounds, couldn't turn it upfield. That's making good reads so far, six for seven. He gets himself in an obvious passing situation here, but remember, he's known to run the ball in these situations. So third and eight at the 42. The other thing that did is Joel didn't have to use another timeout. So Joel has two, Matt has three. Roethlisberger has time, looking downfield, and throws wow. it back on a little comeback in the middle of the field, and Ertz works his way to the 24. Shout out Tweez. Found a hole in that zone, sits in the weak spot, matched the gamer making good reads, and look at him swagging back and forth. In field goal range, now at the 24, clock is moving. 45 seconds left to go in the half. It's gonna go Lynch right up the middle with that dive. Cuts it back, and Marshawn, the former Cal Bear, will go down to the 19-yard line. We saw Joel shoot that gap on that dive earlier in the tournament, but he's had some trouble ever since. And then just finding room all over the place. This time gets stood up it's at ticking. the 17-yard line. It's ticking, Scott. He is running out of time there. That was Devin McCourty, part of the McCourty twins that are in the league. Third and three. He, uh, this is, he, the time is. Yeah, he's got three timeouts. I have no, I have no idea what's going on here with the clock management. We, I expect to see some of this with the youth this week. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. It's one of the things they struggle with, but Master said he takes a lot of pride in his clock management. He'll go to the run. Good right there. And he's gonna have to, of course, Josh Scobie would be mad at me. Settle for three here before the half. Yeah, Josh Scobie doesn't <laughs> like when you say kick or settle. No, <laughs> no. They get you three. Yeah, we were down in Jacksonville, and he let me have it when I said that. But Masters going to have the lead going into the half. It was 14 unanswered on both sides. We got to punt it first. You know, the interesting thing is Joel will have the ball to start the second half. That's the key right now. So. Joel got down 14, RG. Battled back, and, and the more the trash talk elevated, the better his game got. Oh, it was a lot of fun. It looked like Matt was going to run away with it. Joel just started capping, fought through it, tied the game up. It looked like he had all the momentum, but Matt able to put a good drive together there at the end of the half, get himself some points, some questionable clock management. But both of them uh, looking good. Matt staying poised, and it'll be interesting to see if Joel can keep those emotions in check or if they're going to continue to motivate him as that game goes. Well, the interesting thing is you had three timeouts. You know, that he, he basically just let the clock tick, 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 tick. Well, that's enough from us. Let's go head over to the guys for the halftime report. Thank you, guys. 17-14 at half. Master with a slight lead. Rico, we saw Matt execute his game plan. He ran the ball effectively. What are you going to look for in the second half now? Actually, I'm looking for Joel to take over this game. While he was doing it a little bit in an unorthodox manner, he was correct. A lot of breaks have gone Master's way. If it continues to go this way, Joel has to be able to fight through it, keep his head, and keep playing. Really liked the way that Joel kept his composure, using that energy to kind of get himself back in the game. Got the turnover. Matster, a little bit of a mismanagement clock situation at the end. Really trying to run it down. Very high skill there, but just didn't work out. But still got the field goal and has the lead at the half. Now, Zach, in our, you were giving our game breaks from our B game today. Uh, what did you see in that one? I know it's a tight game over there as well. Just a couple youngsters kind of feeling out 
early drives didn't really get anywhere. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is Spoto stalled out in the red zone uh, two times. So he got six points at 7-6 going into the half. But both those guys still just kind of getting comfortable here at the challenge. Sure. Tight games to kick it off, the bright lights, the big stage. Now, if you want to get better at your Madden game, you should listen to our guy Zach Farley because he is about to give you a Madden tip. What's up, gamers? Z Farrell's here to teach you how to play like a pro in Madden 18. Today, young Kiv stops by to show us how to pass. Passing is hard for new players, but everybody wants to do it. Here on this play, young Kiv shows you how to target short throws across the middle for consistent reads. At the snap of the ball, you see the X receiver on the left side of the screen go right across the middle, and he lays down without taking the hit. After attacking the defense short, Young Kiv looks to set up his opponent and go for the deep ball. At the snap, you're going to see Russell Wilson use his mobility to break outside the pocket. And finally, Young Kiv goes deep downtown, Tyler Lockett 4-7. If you can consistently attack the short middle and then look to go deep, you can join Young Kiv in the Madden Championship Series. You know, Zach, for all those tips, I would think that your Madden game would have improved a little bit at this point. Ouch. You know, there's a lot of people that are just picking up Madden now around the holidays, so you want to make sure that they have the beginner tips they know. I know the Twitch chat is like, what? I already knew how to do that. But for all the new players out there that are trying to get involved in competitive Madden, there really is a pathway. You're seeing it with the youth. So go online, check out those tips. I'm glad you mentioned that, Zach, because if you are looking to improve your game, then you should head to youtube.com slash EA Sports to get tips and tricks from all the Madden pros. Speaking of Madden pros, they're going to be here all week. The Madden Challenge is going to be running all the way through Friday when the finals will be there. Stick around. There's going to be some high-level action going on right now. Speaking of action, let's head down to Adrian Lawrence. Adrian? Thanks so much, Dave. I'm here with Joel. So you're three down right now, and you came into this game. How did you feel entering? Um, I felt kind of, to be completely honest, I don't have my playbook, so, and Matt is running tight slots, and it's really hard to stop if you don't lab against it, so I went in the lab all night with Drini and Holly, and I still really couldn't find anything, so I came in, like, with butterflies in my stomach, but after that first drive, I was like, all right, okay, I'll be good to go as long as I can contain what he was running, and I feel kind of confident going into the second half. And speaking of confidence, we know you have a competitive chess background. How do you feel that those skills transfer here in the Madden Challenge? All right, well, uh, number one, I feel like when it comes to, like, uh, Twitch chat watching, I feel like people get nervous or just people that are watching you. Uh, with chess, I've watched people play me, like, uh, play, w w people watch me play in tournaments, like, one-minute chess games, so I really don't focus. I feel like I'm locked in all the time, no matter what, just like chess, and also with adapting, like I always say, I feel like I'm the best uh, adapter here, and I feel like I'm just going to outsmart everybody that I play. And you were very verbal here here with Master Gamer. So can you tell us when you played chess, were you also as verbal? Yeah, which is actually funny because there's a rule that you're not allowed to talk, but um, I would still talk sometimes just at the end game. Uh, I don't know why, but since my games were so quick, I didn't really have time to talk like that. But I did do, I did talk. I was known as the guy that like cap even when I was playing chess, which is kind of weird because it's more of a quiet game. Well, thank you very much and best of luck in the second half. RG Scott, to you. Thank you so much, Adrian. Well, he's playing chess. We're over here playing checkers, trying to keep up with the scoring there in the first half. Questionable clock management from Master at the end maybe cost him four points. Yeah, but it, it, the fact that he was able to get points, he's been in control of this game. He thought through the fumble. I'm just thinking I would love to go see watch Joel Kappen <laughs> at a chess tournament. I mean, that, that, that's really cool. That would increase the, the viewership for yeah. chess, I can tell you that. Uh, and you love getting to know things about these guys. I didn't know that about Joel. Yeah. And you, you get to talk to him, and you find out that, that young man came in second in the, the state championships yeah. of DC and when he was in high school for chess and uh, he's obviously translated some of that skill over here to Madden done a fantastic job with it so interesting young man right there well the good thing for Joel is he's gonna get the ball first the bad thing is he's trailing to start the second half ball at the 28 yard line but you feel like the momentum is still with Joel even if he's trailing Goes to Gurley. I Gurley cuts it upfield. Has space lied, at the 40, the 30, the 20. One man, man to beat. Oh, that was dirty. That was dirty. You know what I'm coming with. Stop it, please. He's saying, He's feed me. Come on, man. Come well, on. You can let him hear it after having okay. stick work like that. That was phenomenal. I need a replay at some point. That was Wow, that was amazing stick work. And he was capping him the whole time. He said, I thought you labbed. You want a replay? We got a replay. On, Stop. Stretch Please, play Stop. cuts it back up field, and the former Bulldog is gone. And watch this. On his horse. 
on his horse, stops the horse, shifts the gear, gets in for six. Oh, we're rocking. Well, you want some excitement. We've had it here. Back and forth between these two competitors. Now for the first time today, Come on, Master man. finds himself trailing. It's going to be a scoop, and it's going to be a score. Khalil Mack Come on, dabs bro. on him for Come seven. Come on, man. They're levels. I'm here, you're here. I'm here, you're here. Come on. Come on, make this interesting, Matt. Make this interesting, Matt. I'm about to fall asleep. Woo, he's letting them have it. And you talk about keys to the game. When you see that replay, we said shoot in the gap yep. to stop the run. Joel Manley shoots the gap, One punches him stop, in the mouth, man. forces One the fumble, stop, scoops man. it up, One touchdown, all kinds of momentum. And we said, Matt, stick to your game plan. What are you going to do after that? Take a look Matt. at this again, RG. It's a scoop and a score. Watch him just shoot right in there. The Come big on. hit. And then Khalil Mack takes it to the house. Chris, oh, Chris. man. Dab. And then he does a little dab on him right, more, right before the end zone. Throw me a pick, man. He's swagging. Joel's walling out. Right well, we, we've seen that dab pick, not work sometimes. Yeah, yeah, a little swagging. Damn. Not, not trying to throw scheming under the bus here at this point, but. You know, the, the, the youth works for you, and sometimes it works against you. It's been all Joel. He's on a 28-3 to 3 here, scoring Matt. run. Come here, Matt. Come here. And Khalil Sit Mack down. is Come having down. a party in the backfield. Come and this is something you have to be able to deal with live in person. Some people are going to talk to you. They're going to let you have it. As long as you don't cross that line, get over in their face or whatever, you can let them have it. You know, you keep the language in check. And that's hard to deal with when you're playing man. And it's already a frustrating game that someone like Joel's just chirping at you. Hard to keep you focused. T.Y. Hilton. Ooh. Let's get a game break with Zach. We are still over here with Prodigy in Spoto. You see this one, flied it in with LaShawn McCoy. McCoy. But right now it's Fine. Prodigy 14-6 over Spoto. Boy, Shady doing work. Over there in game number two on, of Group A. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's playing with fire. He's playing with fire. Fourth He's playing with fire. Two. Let him burn. I know it's early, but it feels like fourth in the game. Yeah, though, the way Joel has momentum right now, this is a big fourth and two right here for Master Gamer. He needs to respond right now. Tight slots once again. Went to the air last time on fourth and short. You have two crossing routes. Joel's going to be guarding those and probably a post route coming deep over the middle somewhere. Come on. Quick throw. And wow. Able to scoop it up off the turf. Yeah, I don't know about it. That's a new set of downs. And he says, they don't know about it. Some people might have thought that's not open. I have a feeling that's something Matt has practiced time and time again. Executed at the biggest point of the game. East mode spins his way to the 41. So we got a second and six. If you're Matt, like we said, stick to your game plan. Can you to run that ball? Nine passing is somewhat unusual. For Matt, sir, he's usually heavy running. But he's needed to go to the air here, trailing. Never leave the drag. And T.Y. jukes his way to the 32. 11 for 12, 201 yards. Who said, who said he couldn't pass, huh? Looking good this game. Scott Cole along with RG. And we're just in the early goings of Group A. First game of the challenge. And I'm already locked in here, RG. Nice juke there by Brown. And he's now to the 19, inside the red zone. He'll take that drag route if you give it to him, get it into the hands of those athletic receivers. We all know the juke move is real powerful in Madden 18. That's Jerron Brown from the Cardinals. Remember at the club series, you know, the club championship, he came out, hung out with us. Uh, there in the finals, Volterax, of course, with a big win uh, there in Arizona. So maybe he's got a future one day to be hanging out with us here in the booth. Cool. I love whenever you get those NFL guys yeah. around. They have such good insight about the game. And Greg Olson has done a great job with us. We had Josh Scobie. You know, we had Bart Scott up, <laughs> up in New York with the Jets. The Bertrand uh, Berrien. Oh, yeah, in, the, in, the, in Cardinals as Come well. On, so third and eight at the do, 17. Matt? What you about to do, We've man? We've had a lot of fun this year, and this is – Good, good way to start the challenge on, and a Matt. good way to end the year. What you about to do? Don't do that again, Matt. Matt, 
Do not do that again, Matt. So he's, he's, uh, got, he's got a little Matt, bit of dad do not mode. Do that again. He's, he's gone into a dad mode right now. <laughs> Telling him what he can and can't do, but Matt doesn't want to hear it. Which is in for six. I know. So beast mode makes it a one possession game. Question is, do you go for two here? A field goal? A field goal? A field goal? He's not going to chase the points. Me? He feels like it's maybe me? too early right now you to chase the points. Well, well, the thing is now, if you hold him to a field goal, it's only a one touchdown ball game. Yeah. So that, that Matt, Matt probably feels he has good enough defense to maybe he can't stop him from getting in field goal range, but he he can prevent him from getting into the end zone. Likes his chances on defense. Gurley. It's going to get wrapped up around the 25 yard line. Let's get another Not game break with Zach. Scott 21 9 prodigy runs it in LaShawn McCoy three plays 69 yard drive McCoy, photos there. down in the red zone if he gets it in Scott I'll let you know it's a prodigy really using that running game got a nice lead over there on the youngster I call him the youngster because he's only 16 but you know he's playing a guy who's <laughs> 19. Know, yeah so I don't know. I mean, really, really, it's, it's Dubby and the rest of I the mean, youth. I mean, they're all under 21 besides Dubby, and Dubby's 30, so. Which, to me, was still a youngster. It, it's cool, though, to see all yeah. the different age demographics that have made these live events, people from all over the place, all types of walks of life, and, you know, Madden could be something for everybody. Yeah, it, I mean, we've had, like, a 20-year range of people, you know, from 16 to, like, 34, 35, 36. It's you amazing. Know. Love to see it. So Spoto did get in. 21-16 over there. Checking with Zach if anything Talk happens over in our other game. Not. But Dan Marino is only throwing it that four times for 62 yards. That was hot. <laughs> you see Joel, Joel saying that was, that was a, a hot one. The thing that's aggravating about playing guys like Joel is he completes a pass like this on you, he's screaming, Dot. You complete a pass like that on him, he's telling you how terrible yeah, you you're are. Yeah, you're bad. He's like, bad. oh, you're just terrible. That can be frustrating dealing with these guys, but. He's got 163 yards on the ground with just Todd Gurley. That doesn't even factor in what a, you know, his. Jay Ajaya. Jay Ajaya has done. I was going to say the complete running, but let's be honest, Dan Marino's not, <laughs> he's not, not adding to those anyway. yards. Yeah, this stretch has just been killer out of this single back wide trips. Second and seven back to Gurley. Gets a block. Nice job wrapping him up at the 19 yard line. That was McCordy. And we got we got both brothers playing against each other in this game, Devin and Jason McCordy. This time it was Jason. They're always all over that stuff with the rosters. We got to play a little, bit, a little Madden last year with, with Devin McCourty. End up beating Matt Forte up in New York. So, a lot, dude, I'm telling you, these NFL guys tell me down, they, watch, on, they watch this. So, hello. I know you, on, what you guys me, played yesterday. You got the Falcons and Buccaneers tonight, and we want to say hello to you from the Madden Challenge. All those guys, Charles James, A.J. Bouye, the mob. Come on, Jai. Big they're they're the starting Madden to call some of these guys out. Oh, man, they've been awesome in the Madden community. Second and four. Come on, Come on, There's a juke to the 11. This is big. Big third and two coming up. If he can hold them to three, he could have any opportunity to tie up this ball game. If you're well, Matt, that's exactly what Adam, you needed to do right there. So you knew pinky that. Or the ring or the thumb is the one you put up when you don't give up. And they won't just put up with the boat. They pull because they fold two. And then dude. All right, so he's got a little Eminem going. going. He says it's Eminem all day long. Yeah. yeah. I asked him, I said, what's in the playlist? Man, he said it's M. M. And I like it. That's a little bit of that old school M. America, now it's a tragedy. Now it's a sad issue. Yeah, the way I am. to be having this happening. So now it's a touchdown game. Because I rap this way. Because they feed me the fuel. I don't think Master, I don't think he can get his stuff on iTunes. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. One more. One more, one more. Say, yeah, D up, D up. Come on, man. Would I say, yeah, this is that Come nervous on, rapping that I was talking about. Fight. <laughs> Joel's capping to get, you know, get him to get his level up to play some defense here. No, Matt. Wow. You're gonna Matt have to pass, Matt. Some nervous bars. You are gonna have to pass, Matt. <laughs> 
And what Joel's doing right there, well, a lot of times what these cappers will tell you, they'll be like, you're going to have to pass. You're going to have to pass. What that really means is please don't run the ball. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to have to deal with the run. They'll try to throw you off your Come game on, like man. that. One more, one more, one more. 17 carries for 73 yards, Joel. three He's touchdowns you for something. Beast Mode. Big third and six. Big third and six. But I'm telling you, trash talkers are infamous for that. Whatever they're telling you not to do, go over for psychology. Do. Yeah, exactly. From the 24, he needs seven to tie it up. Game number one of Group A. Here are the challenge. Got a full week coming up of Madden football. Roethlisberger is going to take off. Kill him. Needs to slide. Come on, man. He's going to oh, pin on with the fire, spot. Man. Will be fourth and one. He is playing with fire. And I think Joel said it right. He is playing with fire. He's let Berger take a few hits that he, he might cough that ball up. He continues, continues You're down that You're playing with route. fire, man. Yeah, Ben's a big guy. One you know, down. Let's keep in mind. Former Miami of Ohio star. Yeah, he can take some hits. Matt. And I think the part of it is you didn't want to slide there Matt. because you're trying to get the first down. You maybe thought. Well, speaking of first down, this is a big fourth this and is one it. right here. He's passed in this situation the last several times. Gotten a big gain out of it, too. Let's see what he's got here. I think he got to put it in the hands of Beast Mode here at the two-minute warning. Goes in the air. Roethlisberger. Low throw in Woods. Oh, man. Pulls it in for the what first down. What is going down. on right now, man? Oh, those are oh. risky throws. I mean, he's getting his receiver. They're holding on to it, but it's in traffic. And when you're in traffic, there's always a chance they could drop it. But nonetheless... Yeah, Robert Woods has had a big day. Nice juke move yeah, back well, and forth. Now at the 49-yard line, just shy of midfield. Matt just trying to put on right now. Checking down to this drag, getting jukey. There it is, a little whoopsie. Whoopsie number two, oh, first down. This time he goes back to beast mode. Picks up a nice gain of about 13 yards to the 38. So first and 10, but... You're going to keep the kicker on the side. you got to have seven. This is a big moment. There's a minute 12 left. You're down seven. Your first big live event. If you match the gamer, you've put a lot of work to get here. And, and remember, in the first half, he did not manage the clock very well. Both guys with three timeouts now. Let's go to Zach for a quick game break. Scott Prodigy puts it on ice with a Russell Wilson scramble. He runs out the clock, gets the 21-16 victory over Spoto. Oh, wow. So Prodigy already coming in. Someone had to win that game. Hey, people weren't excited. Come on. A high oh, throw come on, come cannot on, come on, come on, come on. hang on to it. And now here comes third and nine from the 37, 40 ticks to go. Nobody was excited to play that young man, Prodigy, when no. we talked to him. They said, we, ha we have not seen him play. We have no scouting reports. The whole group was nervous to play him. And from the looks of that first game, they should be. Made a splash in Vegas with guys like Sirius Mo out there. Problem. Come on, come on. And there's a fumble. Oh Come on, man! And here on. comes fourth and time. seven. A little bit of fumble-itis for Master. This is it, fourth in the game. Look at Joel, he's just yelling, just trying to leave it all out there. Hopefully he doesn't wear himself out by the end of the day. It's a long tournament, Joel. Swag on 100,000 trillion here on fourth the and seven. Fourth quarter, 30 seconds left, fourth and seven. Has time in the pocket, Come and on, that's going to be picked off by Eric Allen. Let's go! To and the crib, he'll to shake the crib, to the crib. Bye, bye. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go. And like Joel said, bye, Come Felicia. On, this game's over. Bad read go, right bro. there by Matt. Look like you had to throw it so though. Hard, it's fourth man. and seven. You had to go somewhere with it. I felt like if we they pull up the replay, so I felt like the post route no was coming open reason. over the middle. Dropped underneath. This was the result. Take a look at it again. Started. You can't see it from this angle. You lost when you made Bourbon. You lost it when looked like Ertz was still play. locked up downfield. Gosh, man. I wish I could have saw the other so angle. It felt no like reason. the deep post cr coming points. from the right side of the field had a step on the deep third. You put some pressure on the guys on the truck. Put some pressure on the guys with, in the truck. Yeah, look at this B route. They deliver. Look at this B route. Oh, just lead it ahead of them. And you got Let's it. Go. To the crib. Costly to the crib. read. To the crib. Bye. It's going to cost them the game. Come on, bro. Come on. 
Uh, 10 seconds to go. And the crazy thing, went on a 38 to 10 scoring run. He was down 14 to nothing in this one, RG. Yeah, and hey, props to Joel. Way to fight through some adversity. Your back's against the wall. First time on the main stage. Things aren't going the way you want them to go. And you know what? You leave it all out there. You continue to show passion. You continue to fight. Good Come things on, happen man. for you. Got down early, but he persevered through it. got to talk. What? So Joel gets a win. I did. Dude, I, I went one deep safety in the middle of the field. Really? And the on the, on the pick? The side yeah, they're talking about that play. Talk talking about, about that post play that was I, wide open. At all game too. Wide open. Right, yeah, because I was like. I was literally, that was the one play that I didn't look yeah, at. And focus, focus hoodie. You were going yeah. Three, you? yeah. Getting a little mad in clinic here. Just mad. game number one like of that. group A. Prodigy gets the win. Joel gets the win in our featured game. And. All of a sudden, those are the guys to beat. And the thing I want to call out right there is yeah. something I love about competitive gaming and the sport. Is Joel's talking crazy to him the whole <laughs> game. He's calling him everything but the son of God. But as soon as the game's over, he says, Matt, let's talk. It's back to, you know, that yeah. camaraderie of Madden. And, uh, you, know, you know, back to you know, we could take the serious faces off for a second. And I love to see that. But what a performance by Joel. He's been waiting a long time to get here. And boy, did he put on the first time he was on the big stage. That young man should be very proud yeah because a year ago you had to be 18 to play here now it's 16 these guys are here he's got the win and he's got the shoe game going on down there adrian Yes, Joel, congratulations. 38-24 with the win. You guys were discussing a play there where you were wide open. Can you talk about that? Uh, I sent the house on that play, and I went cloud flats, and I knew for a fact that Matt was going to have some posts across the middle, so I just prayed that he missed the read, and he missed the read. Uh, it was huge because, like, during game, uh, as that play went on, I knew he was going to go for two. Me and me and Matt, we traveled all the tournaments together. I talked to him all the time. We talk over on the big stage. He knows he's going to go for two. He's an aggressive player. He's confident. So I knew I, I might as well put everything out on the line and see if I can go ahead and get a stop early or uh, if he scores a touchdown early so that's why I did that and he missed the touchdown I got uh, a pick and then I took it for six just for point differential so that was that, that was really that pick was really huge and in terms of your playbook how would you evaluate it um, I didn't. I don't like my defensive playbook that much, but we're gonna fight anyway. It doesn't really matter. I really can't complain. I got here, so uh, I have to put everything out on the line right here because this is my last tournament chance. But uh, on offense, I felt comfortable. I ran exactly what I ran. I really didn't need much. Todd Gurley and JJ carried me, and my O line was blocking perfectly. Congratulations. Back to you guys at the desk.